In this code.org lesson, we're going to be using if statements or conditional statements to, well, farm. Let's dive right in. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Video. Ooh, look closely at the code below. What will happen if you click run? Keep in mind, students, if you're mine, when you click an answer and hit submit or hit run, it submits it. You can't change it. I get it. So make sure you're thinking about this carefully because when you pick one and you hit run, you can't change your answer. So when run move forward while there is a pile do remove one. Oh, the last lesson we were seeing repeat blocks or continue on till blocks so i bet i'll move forward and then what we'll look at this pink mouth thing while there is a pile hmm so maybe as long as there's a pile okay well there would be a pile there what do i do oh do remove one okay so as long as there's a pile do remove one so as long as there's a pile, I keep removing dirt. Let's take a look at B. The farmer will never stop removing dirt. No, because when there's a pile, while, the, while there's a pile, if there's no pile, I'll be done. The farmer, as long as there is, then stop when it's gone. I'll only move forward once because this is an end the loop. Onward. Oh my, this pile is so big, it's hard to guess how much dirt. While there is a pile, so as long as there's a pile. Okay, so I have one block on my screen. I can use up to four. I'm just going to go ahead and start throwing stuff down as a guess. And I'm using too many blocks. So what did we just see last level? Instead of repeating myself, I'm only going to move forward once. But as long as there's a pile of dirt, what do I want to do? Remove one. And what this is going to do, I'll move forward once. And now I'm asking the computer a question each time. While, so as long as there's a pile, do remove one. If there's a pile, the computer responds true or false. If this is true, the computer says true. Yep, there's a pile. I do remove one piece of dirt. I hit the bottom, I go back to the top, and I check again. Yep, still a pile, remove one. Hit the bottom, zoop, back to the top of the pink thing, and I check again. Once this is false, say there's no more dirt, the computer says false. There is no pile. I skip over the do, I'm done, and if there's code below it, I'd run that. Onward. Let's try that again, but with more piles. Ooh, so I have one block and I can use five. Well, I know move forward. And what did I just do in the last one? Well, as long as there's a pile, I'll remove dirt. However, this is only gonna work for this first pile. What if I use this, repeat, in a number of times? Because this is identical to the last one, except there's three of them. So let me drop this in here. And what should happen now is this whole thing gets repeated three times. So as the first time I move forward, if there's a pile, I remove the dirt. I hit the bottom, zoop, back to the top for my second run through. The second time through, I move forward once and we can step through it and see. Step, I move forward. Now, is there a pile? Yep, yep, yep. And I'm about to be done. Once I'm done with this, it drops below, hits the bottom here. Now I have to go back to the top because I have to repeat three times. So two more times. So I do move forward again. Boom. And then what? Well, I'm going to check now if there's a pile here. Yep, there is. So I remove one. Hit the bottom of the smaller pink thing. Back to the top. Is there still a pile? Yep, there's still one. So I remove it again. Goodbye. Now I'm done with this. I'll check and there's no pile. So I break out, hit the bottom, and I have to repeat all that one more time. Onward. All right. Now the harvester needs to pick all the lettuce. Use they while there's lettuce inside of a repeat loop to get it all. Okay, so wall lettuce and inside of a repeat. They just told me that. All right. Well, what else? Oh, this is similar to the last one. It looks like I'll need to move forward and I'm going to need to pick a bunch of lettuce. Okay. How many times? Well, I'll end up needing to go forward three times. So I'll repeat all of that. Hmm. Let me try. What do I want to do if there's lettuce? While there's lettuce, if that's true, I'll want to pick it. Awesome. Pick all of the lettuce. Oh, this is super similar to the last one. We know some how many, but some we don't. So let's work on this first one first. I'll move forward and then what? Well, I can only use five blocks, so I'm going to tell the computer while there is lettuce. So as long as there's lettuce, what do I want to do? I'm going to want to pick it. And that should take care of this first one. As long as there's lettuce, the computer is going to say true, and I'll pick the lettuce. Once there's no longer lettuce, I would run the code beneath this. So let me show you. Move forward, and I hit this. And I'm asking the computer a question. While, or as long as there is lettuce, I do pick it. Now, I'm almost out. No more lettuce. So what do I do? Well, this is now false. I drop below the pink and I run whatever code is next, which is great because I need to move forward. But there is a bunch more lettuce. So what would I do? And look, now I'm repeating myself. I don't need to do that. There's five of them. So let me put all of this in my repeat. Victory. Oh, cool. A video next. <laughs> lettuce is now only at the end of a path. Travel down the path until you reach the end. Only at the end. Well, then 
I can only use five blocks still. So five blocks, I'll need to keep moving forward. Wait a minute, repeat until there's lettuce. So this means I should keep going until my character gets to lettuce. Repeat until there's lettuce. Is there currently lettuce? I'm saying, hey, is there lettuce here? Oh no, there's not. Okay, do this. So we're asking the computer a question. Once we get to the lettuce though, how are we gonna pick it all? It's a random amount. Well, let's repeat picking while there's lettuce. As long as there's lettuce, pick the lettuce. Now we don't wanna do that here necessarily because we don't need to check for lettuce every time. And that would also mean we would not run. So once we're at the lettuce, this would say false and we wouldn't actually pick it. We need it down here. Once we have finished moving forward and gotten to the lettuce, this repeat stops and it asks now, are we at lettuce? We are, so we can pick it. Awesome. All right. The lettuce is scattered all over the garden. Travel down each path until you reach the head. Then continue to pick. Hey, it's almost kind of a square shape. So I have one block here and I can use seven. All right. So this is a long path. So I can't just use move forward. What if we do what we just did? Repeat until there's lettuce and I'll move forward. Once I get there, I'm going to want to pick it, right? So once I arrive, repeat there is lettuce. I am arrived at the lettuce. So I'm done with the pink thing and I run the code below. But we don't know how much lettuce is there. So as long as there's lettuce, I should keep picking it. This will take care of this first one, right? But wait a minute. There's more than that. We need a turn. Well, what if I do this? Boom. Three, I think. And now it's a loop with two loops inside. Three times over, I'm gonna walk until I get to lettuce. Once I'm at the lettuce, I no longer do move forward. This is done. It runs the next block beneath it, which says, hey, while or while there is lettuce, pick it. So I'll pick it and pick it until it's gone. Once that's gone, I hit the bottom shoop, and do that three times. One thing I need though, I turn left and then keep going. Victory onward. Lettuce is scattered all over, travel down the paths. So same deal it looks like here. Repeat until there's lettuce, okay? Move forward, okay. So I'll move forward. Once I get there, I don't know how much lettuce is there. So while there's lettuce, as long as there is lettuce, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pick that lettuce. Now, this gets me the first one. How many sides are there though? Huh, are there five? Six maybe? Let's move this. And finally notice at the end of each line, we have to turn, so right. And what's gonna happen six times over, I'm gonna walk, move forward until there's lettuce. Boom, once there's lettuce, I don't need to repeat this anymore, so I drop below it. Now, as long as there's lettuce, I have to pick it. And now there's no more lettuce, so it drops below and I'll turn right. And then it hits this again, I gotta do that six times. Onward. Challenge. Uh, designed to stretch your brain. Okay, challenge. Only way to get all the crops until, all right. Ooh, this is tricky. However, this looks similar to what we have been doing. So let's see here. While there's lettuce, repeat until there's lettuce, right? That's what we've been doing. I'm going to move forward until I get to lettuce. When I'm at the lettuce, while there's lettuce, right? So once I'm at lettuce, I'm done running this and I'll run the code below. As long as there's lettuce, go ahead and pick that. Then what? Well, now I need to turn both right and left, not just one, right? Because there's two options. Wait a minute. Look at this. If. Huh. So if. There's a path to the right, to the left here. I'll turn left. Then what? So after I keep walking till I get lettuce, I'm then going to pick it all. And now I can check, hey, is there a path to the left? Which is perfect because every time you get lettuce, notice you're going to need to turn. So if there's a path to the left, if this is true, I'll ask the computer, it will do this. I will turn left. Else, so if there's a path to the left, nope, false. Okay, well then otherwise do this. And what should my else be? Else turn right. Only one of these can happen. Left turn or right turn. Never both. The only time I'll turn left is if the computer says there's a path to the left. Otherwise, at all other points, I turn right. Now, I don't think we're there yet because how many times do we need to go? Wow, it's a lot. Uh, one, two, three, four. Is it five? No, wait, seven. Let's do seven because I'm just counting the sides. All right, boom. And boom. We did it. Onward. Ooh, I bet this one's going to be similar though, right? Because it's stairs, but they're uneven at the beginning. So, and they only want me to use one move forward, but we only used one move forward last time. So let's see. Well, nope. R walk until I get to the lettuce because otherwise I won't be able to go two blocks here. So walk until I get to the lettuce. Once I'm at the lettuce, what are we going to do? We'll pick it. Now I could go left or right. It's stairs. So like in the challenge, I'm going to ask a question. If there's a path to the left, do turn left. Otherwise, at all other times, turn right. So if this is true, I would turn left. 
If it's false, there's currently not a path to the left. I must turn right. I never do both. I only do one each time it runs. Now, there's a lot of steps. Let's see if we got it. Awesome.